Hello everyone. Today we are here with our dear captains and we as coaches definitely take classes but we have other things to do and like definitely we are guided by our captains here. Thank you captains for joining. So how are you everyone doing? How is the Sunday morning going on? Yeah, thank you Avinandan for that and <laughs> it's going good. So yeah. So actually from last 2 3 days we have not been sleeping properly but today we slept and we were running late also but we started on time and, and just, it is sunny weather right now uh, 30 degree celsius over here <laughs> and we will start soon that is good thank you for joining in but sunday yeah. morning as well because you guys only get to sleep on sundays i think it is so hard so i hope yeah today we are feeling more comfortable yeah. now not tired <laughs> fresh So I hope Biggest all of you had a great sleep last night. So let's start today's podcast. So um, at PCA, like, can all of you share how long have you been at PCA? Let's start with okay. Uh, so Alistair, yeah. yeah, actually, I started in uh, January twenty twenty one. So it's been around uh, one year, ten months for me to join PCA. So I was very much passionate about chess and all. So earlier, I used to work as a hotelier. and then i was so much passionate that i have left my job and wow. then again i started again back after leaving my job i just started as a chess coach in the school and after that uh, i didn't get much op- uh, opportunity actually so then again i went back to the hotel line and all i was working in five star hotels like i worked in pullman and now hotel hotel that's a core brand i worked in marriott brand also i worked in uh, Radisson also, and after that I have seen the opportunity. There is a new opportunity in the field of chess that was provided by Premier Chess Academy. So one of my friend who was uh, like used to who used to play chess with me, he just informed me about that there is a company that is uh, Premier Chess Academy that they provide good opportunities to the coaches, and I got to know that he is the friend of mine only that who is running that. it's some other person so after that uh, i came over here and he invited me to just join premature academy so i ke- i i simply gave the interview and then in, in the starting the interview happened and i met with our ceo um, mr ranjit sir <laughs> and then we started our journey over here and it was very nice because it doesn't feel like uh, whether you are working because when you are working for your passion it's like it's like uh, you're not doing anything because you love that much that it doesn't feel you are not overburdened with the work and all but if you are not passionate about your work then definitely it will affect a lot earlier i have totally different job now it is totally different job and earlier it used it used to be standing job i have to stand like 12 hours 14 hours <laughs> now it is sitting job so with that there is so many changes also we gain a lot of weight also <laughs> because of that at least around 20 kg and all because of that only so yes definitely i'll say this is very good opportunity by the premier chess academy those who are very much passionate about chess they should join as a coach over here and they will also give you more opportunities like i am working here as a captain exactly. so being a captain you have to handle so many person and they come from different part of the india they where they are having different different languages and all it's very tough to manage also it's not easy everyone will feel different different things and all so we have to deal everyone with different they have different different type of thought actually so we don't know <laughs> so that we have to manage and all it is tough sometimes they feel good sometimes they don't feel good they are not comfortable with the languages and all so yeah with time we have to learn and we have a good mentors also like ranji sir sapnil sir shahid sir they always guide us when we are <laughs> not doing good yeah that's all I, i think captains are always doing a great job and as coaches as i said like all of you just help us so much you know the with the like feedbacks and everything that is incredible and every time we face challenges captains they help us to solve the situations and that is a great thing and as as sir you mentioned like you know with so much diversity you know and managing everything 
even in our captain panels as well like you know vaska sad is from orisha raj sad is from india like distance is so much so yeah india is a diverse country and we have diversity here everywhere and that's the best part about india and shout out to ranjit sir for uh, like giving us this opportunity and today he's happy today is his birthday so we are going to all wish him a very happy birthday and happy birthday ranjit sir if you are watching this I'll, like yeah, happy birthday from our side <laughs> exactly so may you grow with our uh, premature academy and all coaches <laughs> we should grow and be the best uh, company i'll say chess field yes so uh, like as as rajesh mentioned ki, like you know if we are passionate about chess we should definitely like you know join pca and uh, like Bhaskar sir, what do you think? Like, how long have you been playing chess, and like, you know, how your passion, you know, for chess grew, and then you joined this PCA? So, first of all, hello everyone. Well, um, 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 my career in chess started actually from when I was like uh, starting my fourth grade. So, my family is onto chess. Uh, uh, so, uh, my father introduced me, and I was just playing like that. So, uh. Initially, it was just uh, like you know, uh, like a friendly match, tournaments. I used to play slowly when I started performing good. So my uh, my father got little serious. So uh, I was like uh, most of the year I uh, I'm outside playing tournaments and all. So from now it's like around uh, um, fourteen years I have been playing chess. But uh, in between and uh, around the grade nine, I had to take a break because of studies. So I took a pause of around four to. Four to five years, and then after that, when I completed my twelfth, and then I pursued my graduation. At that time, I was less completely free. Like I was thinking, what can I do? Something along with my graduation. It's just been, like many of in India, many of the people, many of the bachelors like, used to think, do something extra on uh, like it's something extra to build your uh, CV, maybe or things, whatever you can say. So um, like uh, I still remember the day I was sitting on a lake. Okay, uh, I was literally going low, so it's not a good phase of that time. So suddenly I saw a uh, WhatsApp status of one of my senior who was already in PC. So suddenly I saw and I called him, and that uh, like what is this? Uh, where are you in? So there was a poster of uh, Harry Potter. Okay, so he was taking class. So he told me, uh, "Bro, I'm just taking a class. I'll call you back in just ten minutes, and I will talk." I said okay. So we talked around at seven p.m. Class got completed at seven. So we talked. So he said that, "Are you interested? Are you not preparing for any exams? Are you interested? If you can afford time, like around, just say in the morning time only three to four hours, it's enough. You don't have to do anything with it." I said, "What is this concept? <laughs> only morning time that to two to three hours, and the whole day you have to rest, and there is good amount of money and all that." So I was really excited. So in this very same day, I was uh, heading back to my house. I still remember um, Rajit sir called me, uh, and it was like around eleven something, um, and I was in the middle of the highway. So I picked up the call and he told uh, uh, I was going to have his friend. So I just started talking, and uh, so basically, the uh, my surrounding noise was little bit uh, intruding. So he told, "Where are you? Why? Why it's so much noise? So it's 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 I'm middle of the highway. He said, 'It's okay. You go back to home and we'll talk later. Discuss.' I said, 'No, it's okay, sir. I'm leaving alone.'" There's nobody to ask me. I can be late, so and we talk. Uh, we talk around thirty um, minutes um, on that, and the next day, very next day, my interview was there with Shakil sir. So it went really nice, and uh, this was the day, fourth of March, twenty twenty one, and on sixth March, I was uh, into PC, and that is one of my best day in my life because I haven't worked anything like officially. This was my first official job I got. So from that day onwards, the story going on. So it's a great family, and uh, yes, like uh, initially I was start uh, working in only US music. So after a couple of months, then I started uh, into Indian music. So slowly, slowly, the work has increased. You can say, but uh, what uh, I can say is, in every um, phase and every on the you will see something that is which is increasing right like maybe to work maybe to experience everything will be increasing so we have to accept that first of all and secondly whatever our experience we are gaining based on that we are grooming ourselves for new opportunities 
and the more we are well, pressured, the more we can perform better. That's what I believe is. And yeah. um, till now everything is going good. So captain sees a different light. So we all have just now covered around six months of experience. So that was a really nice. And the concept of you know, these captains mm-hmm. like changing houses, new members, new people, new thoughts, new ideas. So that's one of the other way of winning like the not only through work, but also social Like we are communicating with so many different, like when I say mentioned, we have here our PCA hosts around so many coaches from all over the India. So it's completely PC is also in India, which we, it's a diversified in India. So, so many coaches are there are many different places, right? Like um Sri Lanka is from Pune, um Vachar is from Dhaka, and I guess also six is also from Dhaka, uh is from Delhi. You are from West Bengal, so see this is such a diversified one. Okay. Like uh, bringing the world into such a little rectangle box, uh, that was a great effort there, I would say, for which we all are completely blessed, I would say. So many are seeking for job, we are doing so many hard work, and we just have played chess, and I can bet on this, all the coaches who are in PC, they would have never thought that they can be placed in such a premium coaching issue platform, which is completely based on online. Okay. And everybody has just placed chess because they love chess. Okay. Exactly. But uh, it's like, you know, something, uh, you get the gift or maybe, um, you know, like a, a priceless gift. Okay. That we all have got for spending a huge amount of, if you see, go back yeah, and look, at, you can look back towards. Everybody should have played 10 years, 12 years, 14 years of experience. So that's a huge, that's huge. In order to get that many of experience in any field, it takes huge amount of time. So maybe this is what uh, a gift from God that uh, we all got. So I'm really happy. My team is super nice. That's how yeah. I say. That is absolutely true, sir. It's a gift from God. And Sriram, sir, what about you? How long have you been at PC and like what's the journey so far? Yeah, so thank you everyone. First of all, good morning. And uh, yeah, it was a great experience. I joined PCA one and a half years back. So I already knew about PCA before joining because uh, like my brother was working here before. So I was uh, waiting for uh, studies. I, I wanted to complete studies first. And once I completed the studies, I knew that I wanted to join Premier Chess Academy. So my goal was to first complete the graduation. And then I had an interview and I joined PCA. And so far, it is a great experience, like working with all of the coaches. First of all, uh, it is a great experience. Like we get to uh, these lot of different kids in from different regions. And past, I had an experience of coaching uh, before joining PCA as well. So it was... Uh, it was completely different than PCA. So with PCA, it, uh, I learned many different things with different coaches, like uh, joining with. So these are the first training part, right? We have to join other coaches yeah. classes and it is actually very interactive and it helps. So we get to learn many different things. And uh, yeah, so far it was a great experience. And past six months, it is a great experience as a captain as well. So we get to uh, meet a lot of different coaches and uh, had team meetings and to have fun together. So it is actually a very uh, great experience so far. And yeah, hoping to see with um, working with all of them. So yes, sir. So that, far that. it's great. All right, sir. And Avishek, sir, what about you? How long so, you been at PCA? So basically in this month of December, around 7th December, I am going to complete my two years in PCA. So the story of me joining PC and me getting into touch with everyone is quite interesting. So I will start from the very beginning. So it might take some time. I really sorry for that. So what actually happened was like, uh, me with my friends, are, we all went to a chess tournament, a one-day chess tablet tournament here, here in terms of uh, the tournament went too long and the price distribution was around 9.30 p.m. So we got a friend, I think we all know him. His name is Kunal Kumar. So he was there and he invited all of us. Okay, let's uh, stay in our hotel room and Abhishek stay with us. I was like, okay, fine. Then he said, uh, Abhishek, uh, I'm going to take a different room. I'm going to take some classes. So that made me curious. What classes is he talking about it during in the night time at around 9.30 or so? What uh, classes are is he taking? So I sneaked, I just had a sneak peek and let's... Uh, 
and I saw like what's going on. So I saw there's a laptop. He's taking. He's saying something to kids in a Zoom meeting. Classes are going on. That uh, piqued my interest. Next morning, I asked him what was that. Then he told me he is a part of Phoenix Academy, and where he connects with uh, kids worldwide, not just mm-hmm. in US, not just in Qatar, but worldwide. So. I think that was an interesting thing, and at that time I was a uh, chemistry student of first year. That is again something like I felt like this is a point of contact that I need to have, so that I can connect through rest of the world. Because mm-hmm. at that time it was like magic to me, like how can we connect to you know worldwide? Uh, because like okay, a student of first year don't know how to do these things. Uh, uh, totally different thing that I saw at that time. He said, "Okay, this is the company. This is how you do things." I said, I said, yes, yes, I am. Ex- I am excited about it. Yes, I need to join it. Let's see. After a few attempts, I get into the PC and I met everyone. I met twenty. I met everyone, and this it, this world was totally different. Uh, in the day-to-day college life, we never see someone who is so much passionate about something. Everyone talk about okay, get a job and you know get a degree, do mm-hmm. some work, college work, and that's it. Live your life over here. i understand what living life actually means right so everybody is actually passionate they have some dreams to achieve each and every coach who are in pc they have a goal they have a dream that they want to achieve that's why they are in pc so the, the entire pc gave me a you know new sense of life how you should live your life this is the correct way and as the time passed away i got elected as a captain and it's been around 6 6 and a half months being a captain and i say in these 6 6 and a half months there are few challenges that we all faced all the captain faced and uh, somehow i i have this sense like it, after every challenge each one of us are growing and still there are challenges that are coming in our way and i feel like they are shaping us for even some greater good and i'm excited to see like what's going to come next i'm learning with everyone over here and i'm pretty much excited like what the uh, next challenge we might face so, yeah. exactly sir and sir like you know also you mentioned this one connecting with the entire world right that's a great part about pca like we have one coach here mr prabhas 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 sir here who's also in offline as well all of us are doing online thing but prabhas sir you're also in the offline center as well sir uh, like how is your experience going on with the offline center also how your journey at pca started yeah thank you sir uh, so my journey started uh, exactly 2 years ago like yesterday it was like my anniversary second work anniversary yes, in pca and uh, congratulations sir thank, thank you so a whole journey is like uh, i will start from the first same person kunal kumar uh, he introduced me to pca and uh, like at that time i was just studying in my uh, like post graduation chemistry same subject and uh, at that time i was thinking what am i doing in my life because uh, only thing that i was thinking uh, that chess is the main thing for me but i was not playing chess so play, for playing chess outside i wanted to sponsor myself by earning some but uh, my parents were not supporting at that time so i thought it's better to just uh, switch to coaching and with the coaching with the help of coaching i will uh, sponsor my tournament uh, like whatever expense to be there so kunal sir just informed me like introduced me to pc i had some interviews uh, was not that well but i got like got the chance to work uh, work in pc after that i uh, had good training with uh, many coaches many captains of nil sir and all also baskar sir especially he and uh, many other coaches helped me during the training period and uh, I, at that time i was not very confident i used to be like very less confident all the time but as i like started working more and more after like 6 months 7 months i got some more confidence of speaking in front of people uh, how to teach uh, foreign players foreign chess uh, kids and uh, yeah so from there like i just got uh, like i just became captain like just 5 7 days before so it's a good achievement for me uh, like personally and before that i got the chance to work in offline center in pc first in uh, india so uh, it's a totally different experience where you uh, you meet those people uh, both same age category people which you teach online so mm-hmm. in online uh, you have a mute button offline you don't have so that's one concern i feel that at least 
we should have one mute button here also but we are adjusting and uh, see offline uh, if you are teaching it is also decreasing your reducing your uh, screen time so mm. it's good thing for your eyes also uh, offline you get more exposure more work more responsibilities and most importantly you are very close to ranjit sir here so is every day is observing you giving you some points what to do uh, to get better and how to build a team how to work as a team so lots of learning coming from the main person here yeah so that's it journey is beautiful and uh, whatever i say that's less i'm very thankful to pca family and all the coaches who supported me throughout this journey i'm very thankful thank you everyone the exposure we get sir like you know with working with all of us like that's that's the best part about pca right in other like you know if if we are working somewhere else in in corporate or anywhere like they they we won't be like you know growing at the pace which we are growing right now so that that's a great part about pca the siram sir as you said like you know you already knew about pca and you thought about okay we'll be i'll be joining there as well so but sir you know sometimes we have seen here as well ki like you know even grandmasters they apply for apply to get into pca but they don't get into pca why do you think why it's so hard to get into pca yeah because uh, first of all i i was looking my brother was taking class and it's all about coaching and you should be expert at coaching and with the communication with kids basically so we understand grandmasters are of course uh, with the knowledge of the chess they are very much uh, they are studied they know more things but with when the part comes of communication with kids it is a completely different thing and we have to expert at both the things with the communication of kids and with the chess knowledge so exactly. that helps more to uh, get into pca because uh, this is one one of the important uh, like uh, skill of the coach to uh, communicate with the kids and make it simpler for to understand the concepts right for kids so that is the best part and we have training here so once you get into pca once you see the basics like how you are teaching and once you get into pca you are like teaching if you are teaching on 50% you are just coaching level goes to 80 or 90 mean so yeah that's a great part about pca exactly sir and uh, like you know as you said the teaching is teaching is very important and all those things and uh, like communication part here we have one coach who communicates so well even in the videos people like you know people love to see his shorts and reels and i know everyone knows who we are talking about bhaskar sir i heard that you know there's an inspiring story about a kid you know telling in the class getting motivation and uh, do inspiring kids to do the reels can you share something on that sir yeah, sure. so basically when uh, i was approached to to do some this uh, reels and all so i am i'm pretty sure i uh, like after joining pca uh, i had my instagram account and that was after one and a half years i was not much into social uh, media i don't have that much uh, kind of experience and not with this videos reels and all that so basically um, when um, uh, the social media team is here actually and abhinav is approach like we can make some sort of things like that so i will i say let's try this reels because this is something new and i am always excited to try something new so so i tried and uh, um, i would only say one thing about that so the way it looks easy it isn't like that because we are not experts right i know all of us can if i a simple topic let's say a pen maybe a decoy every one of us uh, can maybe explain much better than me okay if you ask them to if you give them a correct platform i what i am to say we have coaches we can teach kids very nicely and easily the way they need to understand right but in social media while you are making videos we are having a audience so there is a great difference teaching students and uh, saying in front of audience so that i felt uh, doing that so it was going on but uh, one of the big boosting uh, that one boost i got like uh, one of my us class so uh, it was just during the class uh, it was going on so there was a game day session everybody was playing and suddenly a topic came up and i discussed about that so a kid made the mistake so i was just revising that topic suddenly the other kid said that sir uh, i have seen this video you made a video out of it and uh, i saw you in youtube and i saw you in instagram so it's super cool you are talking here in front of us and you are going there so that i felt really looked like that i was feel cool that like when uh, you know like uh, as a coach we are super happy 
when uh, not monetarily the best thing comes when your kid is going somewhere else performing nice maybe you are at the back stage but that little smile you can't stop when your kid is getting the prize okay all of us have felt it okay maybe the kid is getting all the big round of applause everything and you are completely backside nobody knows that you are coaching him but that smile comes from that direct okay so when the kid is saying that sir i was very happy that you were performing somewhere so that level of happiness it increased a 10 fold so i felt that so it was like having little goosebumps like once he said and another guy supported yes and i have saw you in that youtube video when the streaming is going on this all of us normally come to streaming and to discuss so it's really you know like boosting that way. you should just imagine now whenever everybody of us need push okay we need to push to do something more incredible but when that push come from out of some little hands no it's really like very much different uh, from others so that's how it felt once so it was really less experience and it's been on <laughs> and shout out to our a to z chess series i would appreciate everyone just go there and take a look at it bashkar sir is doing this thing and it's incredible any time even i like you know i have to like tell any kids okay let's any topic he is like just struggling with i refer to the a to z chess series and they just go there and watch you don't forget to watch this go mm-hmm. there and check it out going back to the kids part and like you're know, getting inspiration for, from the kids here we have one coach who also like you know sometimes have a lot of great time with the kids and also some fun time as well so pravat sir can you tell us a little bit more about what happened with you with another kid during the prank incident so there are many prank incident uh, like in my class but uh, the thing is to make the class more engaging and uh, to make the class more uh, light so that the kids can enjoy uh because what we do uh, when we are teaching from this side uh, they are like watching you from the screen so the same vibe will not be there which we think which we are providing so uh, if you are just like, keep the class light by giving some uh, like different topic than chess if you are talking about different things sometimes uh, let's say kids are getting late so you can just tell them the class is already over why are you coming now like this so uh, like small small facts not like to uh, not, not too much so these things will like help the kids to be more engaged and to be more friendly with the coach and uh, the best part is if the kid got uh, connected with you then the attrition will not be there so that's one important thing so initially when i joined uh, one thing was with me that i was not that engaging with the kids as it was like it was a completely new experience for me uh, as a chess coach so later i learned that uh, chess is important but we have to also engage them and due to this reason sir like we have to make the class more fun more uh, engaging that's it yeah exactly sir so as you said like you know it's about making things very very much engaging when i started like you know observing the classes i i learned how to make things engaging from rajat sir he was just so good at it like you know all his kids they like the retention kid retention is also so high rajat sir what's your success secret uh basically i'll say that i am very disciplined in that <laughs> every uh, week i used to work uh, on the material which i am which i'm going to teach to the kids and i try to watch other coaches also maybe online how they are teaching actually it, it doesn't matter whether whatever topic it is the main thing is the way they are teaching how they are engaging the kids so every week i'll work on that that what i'll be teaching to the kids i prepare the topics for them i think how i can make it more better for the kids that they will grasp the thing very fast and all if i try to create new new methods and all i keep on working on that because uh, what happen is when we learn chess i learned myself chess when i was uh, very young around like 4 5 years old and i learned it by only observing like how chess works because uh, what happen is uh, earlier we were teenagers and we were just uh, we were kids like three kids uh, in our family and apart from that from the landlord side they were having three kids so they they used to play chess against each other and i was uh, just observing them how they are playing actually and by observing them only i got interest that this is very interesting game actually so i learned about it and i played uh, with my uncle i played with so many person there nearby and they used to be together 
and i am alone always i am just fighting with them that and i am winning i was winning that time actually playing against so many players so i got popular because of that that uh, is the person who played chess there and all i got the opportunity later on and all so how that's how the journey begins so okay. that time we don't see any any coaches there who is helping everyone chess was not popular at that time we don't have any books so no reference was there so i don't want to face the same situation which i like faced during that time so i want my my student to learn very quickly they should have some ideas thought mm -hmm. uh, so that they can learn things quickly and they they should remind it their mind they can recall the things what they have learned properly so that was a thing so th that idea came to my mind so always i keep on working on my <laughs> even though we know uh, we have been so much of experience in that still i work on the methods techniques how i can improve that make the kid happy and more engaging in the class and because of that i have seen so many uh, i i got so many recommendations like from the parents also that we need you only as a coach we don't want to change the coach even it's almost like three years they have been learning but they are still not getting because of that only so that is just that's just incredible um so for uh, like just the way as you mentioned like kids are saying like you know the parents are saying we want you only as a coach i think this happened with all of us right after the trials like you know i just want you as a coach and that feels incredible right sir yes sir definitely it feel motivated <laughs> we feel motivated that yeah we are going in the right direction we are working hard and it's all like we are getting the results for that so like as rajat sir you are you are saying you like you know the way we manage all those things and discipline is the is very important and coming back to the topic of discipline your team harmonious heroes they want to to go pro, uh, <laughs> go like go okay, green. <laughs> go green. go green. coming back to the topic of yeah are go pro chal raha tha na <laughs> india festival bel sel to ye dekh raha tha ye chal okay yeah coming back to the topic of discipline right, as i have mentioned earlier um i think i must also like you know like take a look into your team harmonious heroes they want to go green initiative also the power up event as well what do you think what was the reason behind the success yeah basically reason was only the consistency our team was putting effort and all they are very <laughs> they're having a desire to win also and we were making rules for that what we can do better for them and the thing was they were very consistent they were working on their feedback whatever the feedback they was giving you know that was very important thing first of all so first of all the first thing you need is the desire to win if you don't have if your team doesn't have any desire to win not win and it is a team effort uh, alone you can't do anything first that is required to be the winner and second thing is you have to be in discipline after that because if you are not in discipline suppose you are sleeping uh, you are not sleeping on time right <laughs> then sleeping problem will come that will irritate you also because of not having proper sleep it is very important that even if you are not disciplined any part of the thing uh, that will affect your life actually that will affect your mood and eventually what will happen it will like you will be having a very bad day for that you will say that i am not having a good day today it happens because of that only if your mood is fresh if your mind is fresh you're taking proper rest then you can ha have a control over your mind right and you can have a positive vibes so that i'm very energetic because i have taken proper if you are not having you haven't taken proper rest then it will impact definitely overall you may say something wrong to anyone also in that case so discipline is the one important thing another thing is the consistency you can see that if from the starting only we have won to only however our, we were very consistent about it and our score was not impacted even though we came to time first when we came to second also then also we were consistent in our scores it happens because we were working on daily basis we are monitoring every every all oh. yeah they're lacking we were talking to them if they are facing any issues and they are also like coordinating well with us they are also helping us that was the thing so coordination is also one important thing so if we don't have any coordination then definitely <laughs> we can't win the game 
is very important exactly because if you don't have coordination people will not listen you so it is very important to mingle with your teammate also that is also important that everyone should uh, discuss before doing anything so it is a learning for me also <laughs> talking talking about the learning part i think all of us like you know as you also become the captain as well you have learned a lot of new things um can all of you take us take some moment and tell me like what are the best things you have learned so far and what what were the toughest thing as well uh, let's start with siram sir what do you think what was the like best thing you have learned so first of all in the communication like with the communication of kids i was uh, really good and i was like i had experience as well with the coaching but coming with like a meetings and interacting with uh, same coaches it was a little different thing so uh, it was a great experience and the things that we learned li- like basically i started attending the coaches uh, classes so see how they are uh, doing and actually these are the great learnings for me so from their learning experience as a team we built uh, like we share the experience how was the class what are the new things we learned what are the new concepts the ways of teaching so that really helps like when we get a team right when we interact with each other the communication is very important and when we communicate we get to learn many different things so this was communication was the key for uh, learning and uh, as a tough challenge that like uh, in the starting uh, it was uh, many different tasks in the starting and it was difficult to manage like i was sitting around 6 to 7 hours after the classes as well to uh, do some of the excel work or something like this but now after uh, after some period now i got the experience like how to handle this and uh, how we can reduce the screen time and uh, like teamwork helps because i was doing the work which uh, let's say i was doing alone and if i share with the team team joins for uh, help and we can do that finish that work in just one hour or one and a half hour so that part the communication part and let's say working in a team that was a great learning so it helped me actually to uh, get and team bonding also increases with that so these are the two things which i learned uh, from six months and yeah it's a great experience Yeah, and Abhishek sir, what about you? Uh, um, as uh, Shri Ram sir mentioned, like few points, I think these points that Shri Ram sir mentioned resonates with all the captains as well. Starting with the very first learning and the very first one that I got was communication. Uh, communication is the key. Let's say you got a member of fifteen people, and if you're communicating well, okay, this is the aim, this is the steps, and this is how we need to execute it. So the thing is, the things will be executed in a proper way, and things will work like magic. So communication is something which I feel like was the very important thing in every team. That is the learning for month one. In month two, uh, as the team progressed, I felt like uh, in our team we need someone to motivate through and through because motivation is something which can come and go. Let's say we are having an examination and we saw okay, uh, one Sharma uncle's. <laughs> child got around 99% why we got 89% uh, you know uh, we got motivated okay we will work hard and we will do something and then when the exam will come sooner or later that motivation will fade away so we need a we need someone who can give us uh, the idea behind like why are we doing this a constant reminder like why we are here and why we are doing our job right so i felt like the need there should be a need of constant motivation a re- constant reminder why we are here and why we are doing this as again we all have our dreams to achieve so similarly in month 3 as well again tan para ko month twice so in month 3 uh, we learned okay we have a motivation with this we have the communication what else we are missing then we understood okay rather than having motivation and communication which are the two initial and important uh, you know pillars in our team we need to also communicate things with the parents too right as parents mm-hmm. are the one who are giving us the support so whatever we are having whatever games we are doing why not we let them know what things are happening with us right because again there are few things that are impacting the parents as well right so they are also joining uh, monthly events by the name of team youtube by the name of team unicorns by the name of flying gladiators by harmony series 
they all they are also curious what's going on inside PCA, what's happening in their institute, what's happening in the chess academy. They should know too. So not all the information, but whatever necessary data is there, we should share with them as well. Otherwise, they might get confused what's going on. So communication to the parents as well. And now uh, month four, we said okay, everything is going well and good. Points are happening, but again, few things were there, like uh, few people were getting outburned. Uh, in the experience, I felt like two, three months were fine, but then many coaches were having some difficulty regarding. Uh, so we got some extra works. We got office work. We got college work. We are busy and continue like this. So we need to take care of our team as well. We need to take care of our team as well, and we need to, uh, you know try to interact with each one of them as uh, a different person, not as a whole team, but we need to dive into the team and we need to understand what are their personal needs. Hmm. And accordingly, we have to, you know, give them the task and distribute the work accordingly. So this is the learning for month four. So each one of them is different. We need to, uh, we need to feed them in a different pattern. In month five, uh, I got a concern from one teammate. Uh, the concern was like this, Sir, uh, we are not winning the games. Uh, what can we do to win the game now? Uh, there was this, I, I remember like uh, the person texted me around 1 a.m. in the morning and said, Sir, we need to win the game. How can we do it? Over there, uh, we all, the team member, learned this. Like, uh, what happens if we win and what happens if we lose? What are we gaining? And uh, what is the actual purpose of these games? Why are we doing things over here? So the conclusion that it was a big discussion that we all had in the team meeting. And the conclusion was so that in the end, we guys can be happy and we can happily do our work. That was the entire conclusion. So again, in that after that meeting, we realized, okay, whatever we do, the Conclusion is we need to be happy and we need to make sure we are not complaining about things. Whatever we do, it's for our own good. In sixth, uh, six month was the most for all of us, I think for all the captains, where we left our meeting, Bhaskar sir left uh, Valiant Gladiators, Raja sir left uh, Harmony Serials, Sriram sir left Unicorns, Prabhat sir is happy <laughs> because I think he got elected and he's still in Irvita skill. So, <laughs> so, for most of the captains, it was a heartbreaking moment because we had four, five, six months in a same team. We got a bonding and we were like family, right? We were like a very close family and we were like, okay, let's do it. And then we all got separated. So it was kind of emotional, which also somehow teaches like we need to move forward in our life. So these entire six months was like, uh, you know, value packed six months. We learned a lot in these six months. So it was quite awesome. Yeah. And Raja sir, what about you? What what were the, what were the two important points you learned? Actually, I not only learned two points. There are so many points, <laughs> but <laughs> thing is that from starting when I joined, so there were different challenges starting. So when I joined, uh, when I want to join the PCA, that time I have to leave my job. So instantly, within few <laughs> days, I left it, and it was also risky for me to join a new organization, right? That was also the risk part. And again, after that, taking risk. So risk is very important. You have to take a, a risk in your life. It was twice I was taking the same risk. <laughs> so this time, my parent was also curious what he is doing in his life. Every time he takes the decisions <laughs> and like that only. Same goes with uh, me earlier also. When I was in the 10th grade, when I have cleared that and all. In 11th grade, I was, I was, in the, I was a science student. And then I suddenly changed to commerce actually. My field got changed also suddenly, and then that was the instant you can see action which was taken by me. So parent was very curious every time he take instant some something new, <laughs> right? So that was another decisions in my life, and another the PCA one. Then again we got new challenges that suddenly I became the captain of the team in the NC. <laughs> so and even I was very uh, shy type of person. I don't like to interact more and more. That was the kind of nature I was having earlier. But the things getting changed, we have to accept the challenges. And we are working, we are learning. So definitely it will improve with time. So we, we have to take challenges. That is very important thing. 
So I learned everyone was motivating me that time. So you are a good captain. You listen to everyone and all. So <laughs> I was very motivated because of that. We were working and we came second. We but we tried very hard to win uh, the contest also, and we want to make it fun for the audience, whosoever was uh, like watching our videos of Gen Z and all. So the culture, the team bonding was very good. We used to work hard, forty two hours. Also, we worked <laughs> for one video also. at some point also and we were very much dedicated towards the work that is one thing i'll say because of that only like everyone used to join the team so again i got the opportunity uh, to be the captain so i thought okay let's take a challenge this time by myself only so i just <laughs> opted for that so i got selected for that and i'll say thanks to sir for believing in me and this was the challenge in the starting phase then we got the uh, we we got the team and the thing was that how to coordinate with the team again because last time i got a, a team which was of like six members and this time it is three times more right and dealing with around 18 19 coaches together which is a very big task and tough to manage also because everyone have different different time schedule someone have to go to college someone have exam someone ha is they want to do some different jobs they are in different field also so that was the one thing and it is very difficult to understand people because in offline you can understand face to face by body language whether the person is feeling good or not but through text messages we don't know what intention the person is taking the message the way we are like telling is taking in a different way also so that impacts the relation also in that so it is very tough to manage in that case i'll say that was also the challenge we have to be very careful whatever we are speaking because other other person can take it in negative way also but maybe we are thinking in a positive way we don't know that that is also the challenge which i faced and in the starting when i was having a team uh, we got enough time to actually coordinate with each other i used to call every team members on regular basis one to one also and few of them i already away so we were getting a good support from all the team members and after making a good team bonding then our task was to win the campaign everyone was passionate so we did well all of them after that few challenges also come the way we behave maybe few person like it maybe another person don't like it so that is also the thing we have to take care actually in that case that was also the challenge so we learned with the time in that case and again the things got changed with time we got a new uh, new team and it uh, it was very tough also to change the team but this this is also a new challenge for us to have a new team completely and earlier team which we have have a good foundations and everything we were working together we have worked hard on that team and then again we have to leave that so it was also sad news for us that time but yeah we have to move on and we have to learn so now i came in different team i have different challenges people are not accepting things the way we used to use those strategies in our old team they want in a different way they want to win also few of the members they like the way we used to do in our old team so they like it few of them will not like it so we have to have a proper coordination so another learning for me was like we should know the team better first otherwise they'll not work for you they'll not work for, mm. uh, as a team actually that is a thing so we need to exactly. understand them first of all exactly so, i have learned that in the starting uh, rather than implementing your ideas first of all have a good bonding with the team otherwise you will face the conflicts and all in the team member that <laughs> our captain is not listening and all this will happen maybe you are maybe you are right in that way but uh, people will think like uh, that, that something is implemented on us without our permission so they will not feel comfortable in that so i have learned from that also that uh, we should have a good team bonding first of all then only implement things we are working on that part also and yeah delegation of responsibilities is also another thing earlier we used to delegate responsibilities in the whole team few team may don't like it because team bonding is the first thing that you should have like directly working with the team will not be helpful for you for none of us actually have a good bondings understand them properly like what are their Uh, you can say what they do in their life actually what they want to achieve what are their goals you should learn from the interest what they are in actually so interest is also the important thing 
then only if you will understand their interest and all then only they will understand you that yeah I, my, my captain is understanding the thing and always we have to take a prompt action if they are saying something we have to like help them out that is also the thing if we, we will delay in that then definitely they will see that our captain is not active being a leader also we have to be very active so i try to be active every time whenever any of our teammates you know, text me actually so i'm available for them <laughs> can say 24 by 7 whenever they text i just reply them yeah. this is also the thing yeah learning comes with time to time you will face different different challenges so many challenges came to me also and so many conflict will also come being a team because whenever you are dealing with some humans so the problem will come for sure but rather than to escape from that we have to face it we have to find the solution right so that is also the main thing so i am facing it i am working on it and we are improving and we will come up with again <laughs> your team that's great we'll try to win great. yeah that's great so coming back like from my old captain coming to my new captain vaskar sir how are you doing and what are the like, most like you know important things you've learned uh, so basically in this uh, during the uh, captaincy tenure uh, um, like everybody mentioned all those points are mostly covered so they are correct actually i felt the same way but uh, one more thing also i learned that these um, all these campaigns going on and the competitions to motivate the team to create a bonding so that the team members can be connected they are feel more part of the team not just a individual or team inside a cubicle so what i felt was uh, whatever strategies were applied whatever new things we try somebody is going to come first and somebody is going to come last the position is fixed like every time somebody has to come last okay so in focusing on the uh, like you know position for the prize money is a very good thing so that it will keep you motivated as first of all i felt like it's um, very much more important uh, to focus on building relation with the members you need to understand you know if you have a member of certain people you get all certain different kind of behavior certain different types of attitudes certain different like the right of working culture okay? so first of all you need to uh, time to understand the digest how this person is how that person is in which type of work i can ask this person help or in which type of work i can take him for that so that i focused more on so what i feel like mm-hmm. the building relation with the team members okay like if i am in a problem it's not like that captain i uh, like they will have to do all the work it's not like that so point is if i am in a problem i should be frank and ask class my team members hey guys i am having this problem help us on this how you should be approach that uh, you know like a little, little bit uh, free uh, and it should be there between the team members and the captain and secondly uh, there is a very big difference i felt during this phase of campaigns if i am allotting some work or if i am being allotted some of the work to be completed it's easy to complete the task okay it's very easy i'm not only talking about pcs work i'm talking in general okay mm-hmm. if some work is allotted to anybody it's very easy to complete the task but it's the most difficult part is to make it completed by others and uh, normally what uh, is there is something <laughs> If there is something like uh, after result behind the work, okay. So at least some of them are self motivated. Like if you do this, we are going to get this. Right? But sometimes you have to make it happen through them without any extra results also. So that can only happen if your bonding is good, okay. If the way you are communicating that's good, okay. How you are making them understand? People only like to listen what they want, okay. If you are going to impose on them, like I want this, so this should happen. That's a completely wrong approach. Uh, okay. So if uh, Abhinandan sir wants to do, uh, um, he is feeling good and he want to be working in the uh, Excel team, so he should be kept in that because he is having interest of doing that. So he should be doing better if we keep it. You know, I feel like Raghavan sir should be doing in this, or Raghavan sir should be doing in that. So that's a complete approach. In that way, we cannot build a team. We'll have a team, but with individual ideas and other things. So that's a complete thing. I felt the most important thing is to build relations, okay, and uh, delegate the work okay? because it's very easy to complete. And the most difficult thing I felt in the whole six months is. 
to make others do the work and that to be on time. Okay? So that was one of the major learning for me. And uh, as uh, in captaincy, rest is one thing what I got to know is we get a chance to uh, look over the team members very closely, like how he is responding, how he's talking with the parents, how he's communicating with the kids. Like Sinan just said, we have a, we can check the classes of our team members. Right? So in that way, you get a perception like this uh, person is something like this. You get an overall idea. Like if I, after this, after spending some time, if I ask you to define this person's two sentences, I can explain Sinan, sir. I can explain a message, sir. Like, I guess, <laughs> except Abhinandan, sir, I have met everybody in offline. Right? So I can explain Rajat, sir. I can explain Pramad, sir. That's the point. Okay. So that's the point. We get the time with the team members to understand. And once we understand that, if a captain can understand the uh, person's behavior in order all total team, then we can uh, make the team possible. So that's my music. Oh, that's great, sir. And I think uh, now I think we should ask our like new captain how you are thinking about implementing all these things into like next next uh, co green cap like, like campaign and over the next few months in our team yeah, uh, I'm hoping, like yeah. after, after few days like when we will meet again i will be telling the same information which other captains are telling but for now what i have uh, like seen in these 10 15 days that you have to be ready you have to be present you have to be aware every single time for your team and uh, for any such events that's happening parallel to your activity. So it's like uh, being present, being ready for any events. Uh, that's what I've learned. And I hope there will be many more learnings, which I'm not. Uh... Yeah, sorry. So which I'm not like aware right now, but maybe with the help of other captains and my teammates uh, uh, activity, I will learn more and more and I will. I will uh, evolve as a captain. Exactly. So, you know, as I think uh, Mark Zuckerberg said a few days ago, like, you know, we can, you can build a lot of strategies, you can have a lot of ideas, but the most important thing is the execution part. And if all of us just work together and like, in a better way, try to implement things with the proper integrity, I think execution is like easy if we do that, if we are dedicated towards our work. But together, collectively doing the execution is, I think, that's where the difference is, right? So I think uh, also, like, you know, we as PCA have come along in the last few years. What do you think, all of you, like, you know, just in one line, can you tell me, like, you know, what do you think is the reason behind the success of PCA? Let's start with Sriram, sir. What do you think? Why is PCA is so successful? Yeah, it's, uh, it's difficult to... Uh like mention in one word, but maybe uh, we can say consistency. So mm -hmm. consistency uh, is the key. So we are consistent in our performance. We are doing uh, like giving all the way best. So I guess consistency is the key to express in one word that will be the that will be the same. Yes, sir. And I just said, what do you think? Why PC is so successful? Uh, I will say that it is integrate. Uh, we all are integrated with the same passions. We are connected because of that only. That is the main important thing that uh, PC is doing because yeah. all of the coaches are very passionate. We have the same problem that earlier we used to have that we want to be in chess, but earlier we were not able to do it. And now we are all together being all the chess players. We want to work for the improvement and welfare and for the society that they should learn chess, chess should grow. So our main goal is the same, same thing. And so the main, I'll say that integrity is, integrity is the main. One point one word, I will say. Okay, now we should say what do you what do you think? I will say, sir. <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah. So I will say that's the transparency with the customers, with the parents. Mm. They are able to understand what we are doing. They are able to see. They know what we are doing. So that's I think that main reason. The parents are with us, and we are still for it. Yes. And Prab, absolutely, sir. Absolutely correct. And Prabhat, sir, what do you think? why we are yeah, successful like, i would say like good leadership and passion for all the coaches to grow individually and as one person will think about his growth so as a whole we like our team our family will also grow so that's what i think Bhaskar, sir, what about you what do you think like i agree with all of them like whatever points they mentioned so like it's, uh, it's 
how do you want to take discipline um, all these things are absolutely important but what i feel is um in today's world no everybody is working in so many like the world has gone up so fast that everybody is having a like a, uh, you can do something from your home and you can be successful the point is how can uh, like uh, i learned this from one of my coach he told me um, it's very easy to be a champion okay? but it's very difficult to maintain it Mm-hmm. so having a huge success in the first month or maybe two months is okay it can it can be done okay because in new everybody is motivated but to maintain the record month on month increasing your financials and everything team members for last three years almost that means what it's the most difficult part is to maintain it and what could be the major reason why i feel is uh, the all the members of pc are leaving the bed where the whole world is craving the bed most okay all of us are ready like uh, uh, by 4 am all the members are super ready to execute their whole devotion okay and by the world is waking up like they are leaving their bed most of our pc members have worked for the day so that's a very you know a unique approach of working you know like um, so in today's world uh, one of the major uh, important reason for becoming a mass- having a massive success is working in a very unique niche so that's important where we are working like coaching chess coaching is not a new thing we have done right it was uh, available to last 20 years ago also but the way pc has come up the way of executing such a good quality of product services across the world and among 25 different countries nobody has approached like this nobody has planned for this nobody has imagined like this many other uh, teams are like mimic uh, they are trying to mimic pcs uh, what style okay so that's a thing when you become role model or maybe a reason for others to motivate that means you are in the correct path of having success that's one of the reason i feel like exactly sir like i think every time we just you know we went downwards uh, the next month immediately we just come back stronger and we just like get record revenue and all those things so definitely we're just working not only working hard but also with the consistency that's what i believe also like making the difference otherwise so many like when we started pc i think a lot of competitors were there but as you always believe no one is our competitor we are our own competitor and now only we are there at the top so that is so incredible about pca now let's make the make things a little bit lighter um i i just want to like know about one story from one of our coaches um he's sitting here with us as well i think the, it's a horror story from kochi i wish uh, vishak sir shared some insight on it oh well, that's actually a kind of, it's not like a horror story i um, how to explain this <laughs> Actually, it's obviously, sir, you means to say that it's not a horror story; it's a deadly horror story. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> so basically, what happened was like uh, we visited Kochi. The place was Kadamkudi. So the house, the homestay that we booked, uh, like just the house next to we, there was this another house which was totally empty, totally vacant, right? We first entered into that vacant house. Nobody was there. The doors were open. We just simply went in. and uh, some girl came afterwards and they said okay this is not your homestay your homestay is next to go there and uh, in that uh, next door house we had some experiences maybe you can understand it like this some things were working during the some things were not working during the night time some things were working in the day time and after the visit was over we came to understand that the first house that we entered that was the same house where there was a family of four who suicide because of some financial condition right so after hearing this we all were we all five for you know the entire team was shocked like what's going on and uh, yeah so you things were there like the vibe over there and things were like little creepy i might say so yeah and after hearing this news like in that house there was this suicide case we all were like shocked like what's going on so yeah so that was the entire thing all right and uh, you you heard about some sound also and someone was <laughs> there in the bathroom door can you explain that also so basically the thing was the first experience that we all had in that home was like uh, chirag sir was there uh, 
we everyone said okay chirag sir abhishek will go on upstairs so we, i dragged all the baggies and i went to the first floor i said okay two doors were already open at that time as soon as i went on the first floor what happened was like two doors were open and they got shut you know <laughs> automatically they got shut and uh, the air was the air was not blowing and the wind was not going through and i was like what's going on and i said chirag sir <laughs> need your help come over here <laughs> second thing was like we were sitting on a couch uh we were all having a team meeting and suddenly i know out of nowhere i heard some kind of you know hindi song he said gasi so i said faske said do you are you hearing anything <laughs> like i'm the only one that is hearing he said no i'm shik sir i'm not hearing anything i said that so that is sir anything he said no nothing nothing as such sir i'm sir said uh, are you okay are you fine said, yeah but yeah some creepy experience was there so yeah <laughs> I don't know what the story like was. It uh, was it. Everyone else can say. No, no. He, yeah, yeah. He is correct actually. And one more, there was also incident like Abhishek and me, and we were in one room. Okay, so uh, already these things happened the day we arrived. Uh, <laughs> so that always so the thing in going basically is uh, psychologically like when we were there, we didn't uh, know about this case actually. It's a very unfortunate thing. Uh, to hear about later on after we came back from coaching it was okay but uh, during that time we were like we were just teasing each other like mostly we were teasing abhishek sir because he was about to uh, hear these things and observe these things and we were not being able to figure out that that uh, place we were staying it's a village it's outside from like it's an outskirts of city and it's very sunny you know it's very uh, into the nature it's very sunny so it's very you know like uh, the vibes if you will be getting something like either it's can beautiful nature or little bit of fun <laughs> so yes. that's what a uh, point was there uh, abhishek sir and uh, i think one day night actually in the middle of night uh, abhishek sir want to uh, like uh, he was about to go to the washroom but everybody was asleep so he felt some uh, like a complete annoying noise and uh, <laughs> He had to come back to bed. He couldn't get up for to go inside the washroom alone because everybody was asleep. He thought some thoughts may have arrived, so he had to come back to bed. And he was sharing this with us in the morning. So we were completely like we were laughing. Obviously, it was completely obvious. Like he had to control all over it the night. But uh, this was one of the point. So yeah. Maybe oh, that and Abhishek was the favorite victim of. Uh, <laughs> even even when we came, uh, me, Sri Ram sir, Sai sir, we were in a ca- uh, cab actually. We were ca- coming there and we were saying that this is a haunted house. <laughs> and before that, we even didn't enter that. We were saying like that only. So the wife was coming and we were calling everyone just to pick us because we are not finding the way how to reach there. and then they came uh, then few coaches came they were very scared just come help us let's go together when we reached there and we were having some vibes that we were saying all of them that it is a haunted house because there was no lights in the street also at night and we were not able to locate the house also and suddenly what happened we called everyone that where is the house and all so the thing was that because of this horror story we were not aware about it and then suddenly there was a good coordination between among all of the coaches that they <laughs> came together to pick us and because of the ghost only they were not leaving us alone also every time we are we were staying so uh, it was good also for all of us yeah i wish i said like you feel safe now <laughs> yeah sir uh the first thing i did when i came home was like i just took a bath i chanted some things <laughs> and i said like okay after 24 hours of sleep everything will be gone <laughs> so i just slept gone <laughs> yeah that uh, was okay. <laughs> that was good but Prabhat, sir, frankly all... speaking mm-hmm. yeah but frankly, frankly speaking the time i was there near that house most of the time i was feeling dizzy so and this feeling of creepiness was there not gonna like that was there Wow, that is good. That is good, sir. Like favorite victim of the ghost. Okay, Prasad is also like you know like staying like closer to that place. I believe, uh, you, you can just go there and visit any day, and you can confirm for us if anything is there or not. Sure. All right. So, like coming to the next segment of the show, it is gonna be bullets with coaches because bullet as coaches we don't suggest right. and rapid is a very longer format so we cannot say rapid fire right so we are going to do blitz fire as you can say 
All right. So uh, in Blitz server, what will happen is like, you know, just one line and you'll be like, you know, telling your like answer in that question. Okay. So let's start with the Blitz fire with captains. Let's start with the Bhaskar sir here. Bhaskar sir, what do you think? Um, like, can you share one funny incident that happened? Like, you know, as a chess coach or also like as a captain as well, while, while managing others. Uh, yeah, one of the funny incidents was like uh, uh, me and uh, uh, like our previous captain Abbas said, uh, one day in the morning, Sunday morning, we called Abhi Six uh, to do a prank on him. <laughs> so basically, we called him and uh, we were in a very serious note. Like there was a new uh, team joining. Okay, so we just said that Abhi Six, uh, there has been a complaint against you, and uh, Amaram has complained that uh, you are not doing this well and that has been due to this. Like we just uh, tried to. <laughs> So we did a prank of around, around I guess, 40 minutes. And we have involved the other ma'am also. Like, he obviously sir calls you, you don't pick up the call. Just let it be. Let, me, let him call you two, three times. Okay. So it was like completely a planned one. And then, uh, like, Abhishek sir was completely, yeah, I know he was smiling on us, but he was completely angry and <laughs> he was about to say me. So it was a funny incident we did. And uh, this is the thing we learned from actually our, our captain. So, please, sir, he used to, he's very famous on doing pranks with uh, almost everyone. So, please, sir, used to do a lot of pranks on others. So, that we learned from him. So, we tried a little one on Abhishek sir. It was just a <laughs> funny incident that happened in this century. Abhishek said you seem to be everyone's favorite target from ghosts to other captains. <laughs> what do you think? Any 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 fam like funny incident you want to share? Uh, right, the incident that Bhaskar sir just uh, shared with us, I just want to throw some more light on it. What actually happened was like I was sleeping at that time. I was totally, I just uh, completed my classes at 8. I had this uh, team meeting around 9 and he called around around 10, 10 or so. I was sleeping and I was mindly sleeping, you know. Uh, low music was going on and I was sleeping. Yes. Now it's time for me to sleep. He called me and I picked up. I said, hello Bhaskar sir, what's going on? He said, wake up Abhishek sir, sit straight, something is about to happen. I was like, what happened? But sit straight, you have to hear this. I said, what? A complaint has been launched against you from your own teammate. Something quite serious. Maybe super serious. We can't handle this alone. We need your help. It's on you. I was like, what's going on? What's going on? Let's, let me hear it out. He said but somebody like launched mostly the, the script was planned by Abbasir and he like Abbasir is uh, you know like he's very he's a very beautiful guy but uh, the way he talks in waiting you won't be able to understand that this guy can be so much you know friendly and so much you know, he, his face is so serious and when he talks very slow it uh, like automatically the thing got serious okay so he conducted the whole speech I started I initiated and I made the environment and then he continued with a beautiful plan <laughs> to make him understand that it's going to, and just now like at that time he just woke up so he was like his senses were not working properly right? so or else he would have definitely judged okay so but <laughs> that's what the whole thing it was so that was it oh, and there was one of the funny experience like not exactly funny i will say afterwards it became funny but the, while it was happening uh, okay i was taking long breaks <laughs> like okay what's going on what <laughs> the hell did i do wrong <laughs> and uh, from my side the funny experience that i would like to share it is as a coach so i was taking a trial uh, our indian trial what happened was like uh, a student joined the trial classes while he was on a scooty uh, his mom was driving the scooty and he joined the wow. scooty yeah, while he was riding this video, yeah. So, I was saying, is the internet good? How things are going on? He said, this in Hindi, he said like, Sir, I will reach you and then I will call you. Uh, I said, okay, uh, like, how much time do you require? Maybe 10 minutes, 5 minutes. He said, sir, I will call you in 45 minutes. <laughs> the home is about 30 minutes there and I will call you at that time. <clears throat> that was one thing and he, he, you know, he gave that phone call to his mom and the mom, ha while driving, she, she she got the call and she was like this. And she was saying, yes, sir. How are you, sir? So we will be reaching home at 30 minutes. I hope you are not delayed. I was like, no, ma'am. Absolutely not. <laughs> Our customers will contact you soon. So oh other students are looking at that kid. I was like, what's going on with this trial class? 
Oh my god, that was that, that was, was a different experience. Yeah. Wow. Siram sir, any any incident you want to share? Yeah, it actually uh, recently happened. Like uh, one of it's it's like a coach as well. So when I was uh, teaching, one of my student was mimicking me. Okay. So uh, when I when I'm teaching. he is giving answers in my way only like how i speak and everything and it was going for let's say 10 to 15 minutes and it was actually difficult to handle so he's he, it it's actually looking as a me and he was doing it so apt like uh, he was doing all the correct things and uh, like the same voice and while talking with the kids I, it's little lighter and we have we have some fun so he was actually mimicking me for 15 minutes Oh and it was it was a great great experience and it was hilarious how he was doing it so yeah that was one of the thing recently happened in my class wow but what sir what about you what do you think like any any fun incident that happened so there are many but uh, i will tell one that uh, one day after completing my offline classes from office i came back home i slept like early morning i woke up at 4 and and then i started searching for my laptop and it was not here then i thought where i have lost my laptop then after searching for many time like i was in so uh, tense situation at that thing i'm messaging my captain that i don't have laptop how will i take the class so somehow he manages the class with another coach he took the class at that thing and i'm uh, i'm thinking like someone took the laptop from uh, from my home and i'm just telling everyone like where is my laptop please help me to search it and then later i i found out that when i was coming back from office i put the put my bag somewhere and i went to toilet and then i came back i left the bag over there and i came back home at 4 am me and uh, one of our coach akil abdullah sir like we both went there to collect the like to get the laptop to take the 5 am class all the staffs were sleeping so somehow we opened the lift not lift means like stairs and then we went up we took the laptop and then we came back and then i started my class in the 5 am yeah that's wow. that was so funny at the end it was funny but in the start it was so tense just like a mistake sir right <laughs> all right and raya sir what about you any funny incident in your mind uh with kids i have uh, one i that i can share with coaches i have so many <laughs> but i can't share that so let me share about the kid so i was taking the class and I, uh, that kid was like something new to me whenever he was playing chess and he used to run in the class actually and uh, he used to say sentences coach play with me i am going to beat you <laughs> like that <laughs> he told was like that hey play <laughs> the the way he was talking and the way he was doing he was running in class that was the incident and because of that what happened is that kid don't play practice session and his parent used to play practice session and when it come to about talking about his games and all i i used to check the games of the kids and i used to give the feedbacks i was telling the parent that i was explaining about the game also that he did very good actually i can see the improvement in the game and then suddenly what happened is parent was saying that i was the one who was playing the game not him <laughs> <laughs> so i was explaining all about how he's improving and all and he don't play games actually his parent was playing games all the time so <laughs> i was Just giving the feedback of the parent how he's improving actually rather than... exactly the feedback I was not knowing that <laughs> feedback yes. of the parent so oh, that is cool that is so cool sir so, like you know like this incident also happened with me once like one of my like not this one the workout thing one of my kids like you know after solving like each puzzle he used to go and do ten pushups I was like wait what <laughs> this way like you know after six months of my class this guy would have been like like you know our uh, bodybuilder coaches some of, like i think all of us have some coaches in our team yes yes that kid used to run and every every kid uh, used to love him also he like to like see where is that kid whenever he don't join everyone will say <laughs> he is the center of attraction for everyone that he didn't join it the class dreams boring if you don't have such kind oh of kids oh my god that was that oh, class point. feels boring right that time because there is something to laugh right <laughs> that is the thing kids exactly. used to enjoy all these kind of moments exactly like, sir can i just so, mention uh, uh, the kids story like uh, i have uh, like uh, in terms of kids we have so many funny incident but i have uh, like uh, like this kid one like this was a funny but i was embarrassed in front of the kids so basically there was a time like uh, i had little bit more hair and more beard okay so it was like a lot lot more than this also 
So basically, in that class, I uh, towards the last five minutes, I told the kids, "Okay, guys, uh, next week I will not be ready. Another sir will be coming. I have exams, so we'll meet you next two weeks." Okay, so that's uh, those kids are from like US. So those that whole complete uh, batch of that uh, like kids of that particular batch, they're very good. Like they're very like good friends and uh, they're very interactive. Like if even if uh, I am not talking, they will have something to talk and discuss about regarding the chess also. So one of them is saying that sir, uh, uh, exams, which exams? So I said it's my semester exams. So one, other one is saying that uh, sir, you still go to school? I said no, 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 I go to college. <laughs> so the third one is saying, you see the like it's switching to the third one is particularly maybe he is waiting for this moment. Okay, so he said to me that sir, you go to college? I said yes. No, I thought you are from my mom's side, so that was very much embarrassing for me. <laughs> like at that point, all others started laughing. I thought, no, no, I, I need to, I need to reduce my length of my beard, and I have to go and do myself. <laughs> the kids are taking very wrong way, so it was like uh, embarrassing for me, but it was like funny. Like when you get uh, embarrassed by your own kids, it's funny for us. Uh, this, yeah, there are four is, few uh, more uh, incidents also in that like that. Yeah, sir. <laughs> Kids oh, sometimes used to ask personal questions also. <laughs> yeah, they like, used to ask. Yeah, are you married? Uh, how many GFs you have? <laughs> like so many. Like, in, Kids ask. Yeah, so it is also funny and sometimes so we don't have to reply all these questions. <laughs> so we try to talk like uh, we try to say that. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. We should uh, just focus on the class right now. We should try to get rid of this, all these questions also. But they keep on asking you a few few questions. Kids are like that only, so yeah. Very no if sense. you don't reply, they're gonna like you know again like, talk about that thing only. Like right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah, I one of my chat box. That's the problem. chat box. <laughs> they will spam the chat box. Hello, sir. Like today we got lots of and yeah. I will be giving some uh, uh, questions to solve. Some of you will be sending answers. Some will say hello, sir. The R will be like thousand times. I have to scroll down. Where is the real answer? Who's even answer even sometimes sometimes they take uh, kids sometime take your screenshot in such a way that your eyes is also closed. Suppose uh, you are just talking and your eyes get closed, they take the screenshot of that <laughs> and send you in the chat box. <laughs> yeah, they will share it's it to you, sir. Screenshot of these kids are so smart. Like it's not of my incident. It's on from a, one of my coach from my district actually. I was sitting behind him while he was taking class. I was not having class, so I was observing. On that day, you won't imagine the level of you know, like IQ level is so high. <laughs> In order to prank the coach, what the kids have done actually, they have all have taken the screenshot in the previous class. Okay, they have discussed among themselves. They have like in beaches they used to play and they have talked in the chat box. They told all this thing story to that coach later on. When they joined, they all have taken screenshot of the same coach. Okay, in different different angles. Like uh, while the coach hand was like this, some were like this, some were coach was sort of like this. In the five different pictures, and they all joined with the coach face only. Now coach is self confused and. There are six faces of him only. I was completely confused. Like, what is this going on? Like, what is the level of IQ of these kids? They have joined. Now they are saying, "Sir, find us who is what." They have come with a different name, all of the same coach face, and coach is wondering like six faces of mine. Where are my kids? So today's kids are very ultra modern, very you know, very smart. Yeah. Very smart. E- even and even what happen is even what happen is sometime what happen when we used to lose games also. uh so kids ask why you're not playing well <laughs> why you are losing the game <laughs> okay they know what uh, exactly the thing is they easily identify whether we are playing good or not <laughs> what is our yeah. intention whether to win or not and sometime uh, like other incidents also happen every time they used to ask questions the kid used to ask very basic basic questions and all that was also sometime like uh, a happy moment you can say for us <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Uh, like this incident happened maybe like in the Vasco sir moment has also happened, but in a different way, completely opposite way. So like, yeah, uh, like this this week itself, one of it, one of the kid was asking like, how old are uh, how old are I said like I'm twenty one. The another kid immediately told told his mom, like, mom, 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 said he's twenty one, only twenty twenty one years old. The another girl so, she, sitting was there. She said, like in in the class, she said. Sir, really, you're twenty one. I thought you're even younger than that. <laughs> <laughs> so what? What happened? I'll share one more incident also. What happened is, uh, one day, one coach joined actually to watch uh, our classes, 
and there was one person he used to come in uh, first in the practice session okay and their last name matches also their names also match last name matches so kids used to say that oh this kid father is joining our class actually <laughs> so that was one resident also that was and they used to ask just turn on the video and all i used to say to young kids uh, the magnus carlson is here for all of you once you finish once you learn then he will play with you so they were very excited mm -hmm. so i used to prank on my kids also sometimes for yeah, young kids good. actually and they were very like energetic okay i want to beat him <laughs> i will win today with against magnus carlson and all oh wow, that's they so are very great. excited at all these things yeah and now, now coming back to some you know spooky, spooky stories to funny stories let's come to some weird stories like okay by the way i know it was like you know bleach with coaches but i think this is classical classical chess happenings for so long with one question now let's like go to the next question like any weird incident happened with the parents like i think there's so many you can share share a few all of you any any weird stories that, that happened with the parents let's start with siram sir what do you think yeah i mean it's it's difficult to remember like nothing like uh, spe special like weird stories at that such but yeah there are things happening in between like uh, during the like if kid is joining the class and uh, he is joining with some other link so th these are the thing happens like if we are on leave some other coach is uh, taking the class and they are joining in our our meeting so lot of discussions are happening these these are the only things which are uh, happening with parents not as such a weird story uh, to share okay so, and, okay that's that's cool okay sir brad sir what do you think any 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 weird stories sir there are many but recently one happened like uh, like one kid was with me like since uh, i joined pca and uh, the kid was like growing from 700 to 1400 leeches rating points uh, on like every level he was improving uh, but whenever i used to message the parent that your kid is getting promoted to advanced beginner let's say intermediate one parents used to message me like i don't think my kid is improving so every day not just one time whenever you tell tell that your kid is going to intermediate one now intermediate two then also the parents will say uh, i don't think my kid has improved so like till intermediate one the same complaint was there maybe after that uh, the kid has defeated his father so now in intermediate two case there is no complaint like it's fine <laughs> now i think that now i think my like kid has improved <laughs> yeah so i done. can i can add to that one story like uh, yeah, sure, as prabhat sir mentioned one of one of my parent asked me let's say one of the kid of mine completed the beginner level and he got promoted to advanced beginner so my parent asked me that uh, now is he has he become a grandmaster or uh, he can play in like top level tournaments so this this was the weird thing so he just completed the beginner 1000 rating on leeches and he, his parent asked me about is, is he a grandmaster now what are the next what next process we have to do so yeah these are the things which happens with parents we have to explain all the things uh, like one by one and yeah one more thing i want to say like recently i was in trial and one parent came like for discussion after the evaluation so i told that kid is uh, going to be in advanced beginner batch so the parent is telling advanced beginner i don't think my kid is in advanced beginner. he should be in beginner the like he doesn't know anything uh, about basics and all the kid behind saying i know everything i will be in advanced beginner just like that so parents say okay if coach is saying and kid is saying then let's go for advanced beginner oh my god <laughs> and uh, and abhishek said any weird stories from your end huh? <coughs> Yeah, sorry. Uh, sorry for my voice. Uh, so yeah, so weird stories as such. Uh, I would say I got one. So what happened was like I was going to this uh, Olympia where uh, PC was there, right? The forty fourth uh, Olympia. Mm -hmm. I posted that as in status. Okay, I am in Chennai and I will be visiting the Olympia. All my students know. Okay, sir is going for a chess tournament where he will be watching Grandmaster. So one student, one Indian parent, or two Indian parents, basically one from Kerala, other one from Chennai, they they texted me saying, "Sir, we want to join that tournament." I said, "Okay, we, I will. I can arrange a uh, viewer pass for you. You can come and see the Grand Masters, and maybe you might be able to talk with them, have a chat with them." The parents said, "No, sir, we want our kids to participate and win in the tournament. Who else can participate?" So the thing was like they want to play in the tournament, right? I think Grandmaster. They said, "Well, how much will be the entry cost?" 
what will be the fee how can we enter the tournament how can we play right so first thing i told them uh, as this is an olympiad uh, we have to get selected from a nation and then only a uh, team is created and then we have to participate they jumped on me and they said no we want to participate from premier chess academy from your academy side and we want to play in the tournament they are not even ready to understand okay this is totally a different thing they said like, there is a chess tournament we want to be there and we want to play with grandmasters that's the statement that i got even wow. one parent uh, reached chennai where the olympiad was happening they, they they saw me and they said okay tell me how to participate yeah even there they said pay to participate <laughs> So over there, like I, I let them in, and we totally had a walk for around forty-five, fifty minutes throughout the, you know, through the entire venue. And while we were walking, I, I, and I made them understand that okay, this is how things are working. Or, this is what is going on. And there's like, okay, sorry, sir. But uh, that's how the thing went. So it was a little weird in my sense, but yeah, that was a good experience. Yeah. Uh, and and I just said, any weird story from your end? Yeah, it happened. Sir, this but is I'm not able to recall. I was okay, okay. okay. Oh, what happened? Oh, there was connection. Okay. So basically, uh, I was about to recall. I was listening of Shikhar's story, and then suddenly I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> so <laughs> let me just think again. <laughs> okay, but we back. can come back to you again. Baska, sir, what? Any weird story from your end? The weird stories, um, as such, uh, I haven't like heard so many weird stories, but I had uh, like there have been some funny incidents with parents also. Uh, <clears throat> Um, parents are very nearly nice. Okay, like uh, um, I haven't got any, you know, like uh, bad experience with parents. Um, many of the parents, like, uh, are still like uh, the day I joined BC, they're still with us. So parents are really nice. Yeah, sometimes uh, like interesting thing used to happen. Like they are so keen about their kids to join, make them join them. So like I have a kid, uh, is a like kind of prodigy. I feel like so right right now he's an intermediate level one and. Uh, Uh, like I had to some uh, one day I had I couldn't uh, resist like uh, the fact the way he was performing the way he was playing the way he's solving puzzles I was I think he using something or what you know, maybe some reasons or something but later on he did something that I have uh, never got experience with all of my kids in last two point five hours uh, like years and uh, mostly most of the intermediate two or advanced level one kids won't be doing this as a regular practice. Let me tell you about that kid. He's from India actually. So uh, his age is four point like uh, four four like uh, uh, when he started with me he was around four years uh, seven months. So I told the parents that uh, um, we start from five years old in our academy. Uh, but uh, I just want like before the trial only. But if when a kid will be able to communicate with me then. Uh, Uh, we can go for it. So parents, it's okay. So the parent was con- consistently like beside the kid. So it was little bit. Uh, kid was trying to communicate, so it was okay. So he got into the trial. Like in some months only, like he performed so well. So one day I called the parent and I said, like, ma'am, what is the age of this your son? So he said, like, ma'am, I said it's five years, uh, two months. I said, no, ma'am, I don't have. <laughs> like uh, accept it. So like, is it uh, older than that? So he said, uh, she said that no, uh-huh. sir. If you want the certificate, I can give it to you. Like, mm-hmm. I said, how is this possible? This kid is performing so well. And um, once he started into intermediate, no, he told from uh, from his side. Like, it's not his parents have pushed no nothing. But uh, he normally uh, uh, like struggles a little bit to communicate so easily, uh, saying so many complicated sentences. He talks very simple, simple, like simple words. Like he talks in phrases. But you won't imagine. He told me, sir, sir, I have started one thing. Now in every class, I it is my task. I will be saying you one game. I said one game, your game. So she said no, sir. I I am watching in YouTube videos and chess talks. I am memorizing the grandmaster's game, and I will wow. completely say it to you. You won't believe me. Right now he is five years and six months, and uh, like every class, like we we started them. Uh, like he got into intermediate like September twenty second. Okay, so from that day in every class he is saying one game, and I am astonished that thirty moves. Like no break, nothing. He's not watching in anything. He don't know how to handle computer also properly. He don't know. He only knows. If I ask you start a game of your own ten plus five rapid, he can't do it. His parents will do every time. He just know how to play the game. But he's memorizing. Wow. He's a prodigy, I think. Uh, prodigy, like of, like of course. Very talented. Yeah, talented. Uh, first of all, he I think um, 
five years and six months uh, being in intermediate level one in PC is an early achievement. Okay, he is in a batch where all the kids are ten years and eleven years, and he is the alone five years old. There is no batch around like that. And the uh, other parents are completely astonished. The yeah, elder kids, like, how is this kid doing? Like he now he has assigned this task to himself. I haven't told him. Now that gave me idea. Now I should put some pressure on the intermediate two kids. Like wow. yes, little kid is doing like this. Why don't you do this? And uh, Parents are really nice, but sometimes this is the experience I got. That's how I want That's to share. Really, it. really astonishing. Yeah, like, I I can show you that this kid is a prodigy. It's, it's I, uh, first of all, I couldn't accept, but the uh, parent uh, told me that, uh, sir, if you want the certificate, I will give it to you. No worries. Sir. Like he got like I thought she got scared. I am asking so many questions. So she said, no, 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 sir, we can see sir, the certificate. It's <laughs> just two thousand and eighteen. I said. Thank God, how is it possible? Two thousand and eighteen. Uh, so, yeah, I tell some of my kids this thing as well. Like you know, my chase, my chase dot com account is older than you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, and yeah, and, yes. and so, add to this, I I, I have one uh, story. It was uh, regarding trials as well. So after few months back, I started middle trials, and there was one kid who was uh, okay. He was speaking in Arabic. and uh, i was speaking in english so there was zero chance of communication and his mother was there she understand little bit english so if i'm explaining anything it will be difficult so we played a game of chess and uh, we played two games i i was explaining him and after uh, one day i got confirmation that kid wants to join in your batch <laughs> so this this was actually a difficult part for me because for whole trial it was difficult to communicate with him and kid was so happy after the trial that he 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 was interested and he he said okay i want to join and i will just see the screen and i will understand so this was the uh, funny story that i okay i shared of course the one the coach who speaks arabic i just uh, passed the trial to him but uh, okay this was one of the interesting story came to me so, yeah, it yeah. is it is like you know like difficult right like in the class as well it's very difficult right sir any any word story from your yeah. end <laughs> yeah yeah what happened was uh the thing was one one day what happened one parent texted me that uh, we are just taking a break because i think my kid is not learning actually so she is not improving actually it's been almost uh, more than 2 years the kid is not improving in chess actually overall kid was improving and all not in chess exactly but whatever we are learning the kid was very much interested in the class parent was saying that kid will not join and kid is joining my class next day i said what happened are you continuing your classes so kid was astonished that why it was asked to me because <laughs> no one told me that i am not continuing the classes so i asked the parent so then parent said no no she is continuing actually she is very much interested in the class <laughs> even though the kid is not learning she is not having interest in chess but the thing was she was interested in attending the classes <laughs> that was another one thing and another incident i'll say that one day uh, what happened is one kid used to always keep the video turn off give excuses i have internet issues i have this issues and all and wh- whenever he turn off the video what he used to do is he used to play a game that is uh, free fire which is very popular among kids and the kid is only 8 years old so that kind of <laughs> brain they are having that they turn off the video and all they give excuses for that to play a game and that time parent got <laughs> actually that he is is doing that in the class so then he op- uh, did a apology to me that we will not do that we'll pay attention to our kid that whatever he is doing in the class so i have already informed that but they were saying no no mark it don't do that <laughs> but later on they caught him and from that point they were like focusing on him actually oh that's cool was like one incident cool. that happened from turning off like video stuff i remember one incident that happened with me as well like i had this like middle east uh, intermediate batch for like almost one and a half years back then okay like by that point it was one and a half years like i never saw like any of the face of the kids okay i asked in the beginning they didn't turn on the video it's fine okay so one day one uh, female coach she joined for uh, like you know like uh, the, the class thing I, i i was supposed to be like you know doing the thing like reverse shadow thing that happens And all the kids in the class, see five kids, five or whatever. And the ma'am just said once, "Kid, like you can turn on your video." Like immediately, all the videos are turned on. I was like, "Wow, I'm taking the class for one and a half years. I never <laughs> saw your face." <laughs> I was also kind of like that was 
that thing happened. I think we can say that the boy is in this camp. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. One time, one more thing happened actually. One kid used to use the chess engine and uh, used to play and win the game. Very such complicated position was there, and kid was <laughs> playing that position, which was. Even tough for the grandmaster also to handle. That was very tough position to handle. Very sharp continuation. Kid was playing in a very perfect way using engine, and I got to know about it. That there is something especially in the games going on, and I just informed parent that there is something wrong which is happening. Uh, so maybe kid have used some chess engine or something. So parent was saying, no, no, my kid don't use boat. <laughs> We don't know even how to use boat and all, and all that. So parent was saying that kid was just. Uh, We are watching him only, and he he can't do that. He's just playing chess only. Wow. <laughs> But later on, the ID got banned, and then they, they got to know about. They asked the kid that would happen exactly. Like, did he use uh, take uh, any external help from any software? And then they realized because now the technology is so much high that it is tough for the parents also to understand what is happening. <laughs> that was a thing. Even though it looks like a chess, the kid is playing chess. But they are they they see the moves and also it is tough for them also to understand what is happening. Exactly. That was also the thing. Yeah. All right. So that is the end for the blitz with coaches. We have just one segment remaining. That is the ultra bullet with coaches. Okay. Um, kids, we don't suggest playing ultra bullet by the way. So in ultra bullet with coaches, what will happen? Okay, this is the last segment. Uh, we have a few minutes left. Uh, so just we'll I ask a question and you just you know tell me with just one simple word. Okay, one word only. Okay. Well, let's should we shall we start then? Yeah. All right. So let's start with uh, Sridam sir. Sir, uh, like, what do you think? Uh, like, what is the future of PCA? It's it's great. So, yeah. I mean, One it will be difficult. To, yeah, it's great. Okay, Pravat sir. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Abhishek sir. One word. Yeah, one word only. Okay. Dream. Okay. All right, Rajesh sir. So I'll say we can't see the future. We <laughs> we can't. Uh, we can hope for the best only, and we can say yeah, def definitely. Premier Chess Academy is a dream platform. All of okay. us. And Vasco sir. Boss. All right. Okay. And the last question of the day: What, like, why do you see all of yourselves five years from now? In just one word, like you know, not like one like stuff. Like, uh, in ex express your way. Like, where do you see five years from now, like yourself and PCA together? Let's start with Bhaskar sir. <laughs> Just completely unexpected. One word. I will explain. Ah, uh, PCA me five years. Um, like uh, I can. Ah, uh, if I get a chance to use a phrase, that that would be good at least. Yeah, sure, so sure, sure. It's sure, difficult sure. to explain my relation with PCA. Okay, and five years. I'm hoping for the best of PCA. Ah, uh, like I just said. Uh, <clears throat> you see that king in our uh, logo. Ah, pretty much is academy king. Okay. That's how the PC is going right now. Okay, there are so many academies online, but uh, our growth, our uh, way of uh, um, targeting market, our the way we are in approaching the whole world, so that's completely different than others. And I'm highly blessed and thankful that I am a little part of PC. So I see myself with PC after five years in great heights. So, exactly, I think all of us like we see. Like you know, see with us PC together and like like this. I think the coach retention rate of PC is also very high. Like no one leaves like this. Like okay, we are gonna leave. Everyone stays together. Yeah. And I think that was the last question to you. And like, if I have to explain this thing in just one simple word, PC and me, five years from now, I think that would be together. So I think all of us are gonna be together, staying together, just like a family. And PC is a family. And thank you for joining everyone. I think it was like two long hours. I think I hope you didn't get get bored, uh, like from the spooky stories from oh, uh, from Abhishek sir to pointless. prodigious stories from Vasco <laughs> sir. I think that was really great. Thank you for joining Abhishek sir, Sridam sir, Prabhat sir, Rajat sir, and Vasco sir. Thank you everyone, and yes. Yeah, thank you sir. Yeah, thanks for having us. Thank you all. Thank you all, and don't forget yeah, everyone like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> sure. Yeah.
All right. Bye. See ya. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye.